Behold, concept art. This art was generated using a machine called Doll E2. A large portion of the content within this video will be generated using artificial intelligence. I want to experiment with it, so I'm going to let some creative decisions for this video be influenced by a computer. You may be thinking, wow, this song blows. It's because the song you're hearing was generated using artificial intelligence. The images you're looking at were generated with artificial intelligence, and AI helped me write the intro to this video. So, if it sucks, it's not really my fault. Hello, a warm welcome to you, friend. Look at this. Doesn't this look cool? Doesn't that look fun? It's slick, it's flashy. I got all kinds of moves and they don't seem to be that broken. It took a few months of work to get to this point, but you, you're not here though. You need, you're over here, unfortunately. We're gonna, we're gonna have to, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna we're, I documented the whole process and I, I could take you through it and I could walk you out. But first, let me get a few things out of the way. My devlogs got off on the wrong foot and artificial intelligence, evil as it may be, I think it can help. How should I greet people in my YouTube video? In your YouTube video, you should greet your viewers in a way that is natural and friendly. Oh. For example, you might say, hey, everyone, or welcome back to my channel. Which one should I, which one should I use? It depends on the tone and style of your YouTube video. If you are filming a vlog or casual video, then you can use either greeting. If you are filming a more formal video, then you might want to use the more formal greeting. <laughs> yeah, but just tell me which one um, I should use, though. If you are unsure which greeting to use, you can always ask your viewers for their opinion in the comments section of your video. What is wrong with you? Uh, can, um, can you pretend to be a viewer? Sure. Great, uh, I, um, here's my question. Hey everyone, what is a good greeting for my video? I think a good greeting for your videos would be, hey, everyone, or welcome back to my channel. Okay, well, I'm not saying that. Another mistake I made is not telling you who I am. My name is Michael, and I am making a 3D platformer. I want this game to be in the same vein as Mario, a wide variety of moves and a character that feels weighty. Uh, Mario ha Mario is girthy. He has some thickness to him, and there's, a, there, there, there's something about the way he controls. It makes him feel like a solid, you, you know, like physical uh, mass. And I want to try to replicate it. So that's me, and that's what I do. So two months ago, I decided to record more of the day-to-day -day operations, and I hope to share more of that with you. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Just woke up. It is... Alexa, what time is it? It is 4.31 p.m. Here's my fan gaming chair it doesn't help you with gaming but it uh, really hurts my back really bad water pineapple slices little juice left in there cereal from uh gouch it's for my gout I have a nettle leaf urinary support for my gout a potassium citrate it's uh it's for my gout holy water most of this is gout related hot glue gun Building some stairs. As you can see, they're not quite finished yet. I'm building a little set here for for my rocks. Yeah, I get a lot of gout because I eat a lot of Jimmy Deans. Someone almost ran over that Taco Bell. Today I'm giving our character some new moves to perform. I have a notebook. I have some ideas in here. So, uh, I don't remember what. Boogie! Boogie! Good morning. Today, chaining moves together is a high priority. I worked on a few combos, which are a little difficult to see in action here, but they're there. I'm trying real hard to make combos feel useful. I can use the kick to start linking other moves together. See here, kick to exit your ground leap, then enter the air dash. I added a directional jump and a ground slam. Some of these are way too difficult to be of any use, so I'm making it a bit easier with shapes, which I purchased from the Unity Asset Store. Now you can do this. 
which is interesting. Added a few other basics like wall sliding and wall jumping. Now I'd like to give AI a shot at creativity. See if it can come up with any interesting moves for the character. Now, the amount of time this wasted was uh, incredible. Also, I wasn't happy with the amount of gameplay I was showing in my other devlogs, so this time when I feel like there's not enough gameplay being shown, I will throw in the live gamer view. Very exciting. That kind of makes everything better, doesn't it? Wow, uh, thank you. You'll see this pop up during the non-gamer moments of the video. So I think I'm gonna skip uh, breakfast because I'm feeling very, very w sick. I feel weak and uh, feel very good. I'm feeling ill. I don't feel well. Okay, breakfast time. Alexa, what time is it? It's 5.45 p.m. Jimmy Dean takes a while to cook, so I like to get my steps in while I can. Done? A little longer. Oh my goodness, look at that sausage. It is almost not frozen anymore. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be on this. I'm gonna be on this sausage. All right. Yeah, hard as a rock, that didn't work. The game's coming along and I just got some good news today. A friend of a friend has introduced me to a man named Kevin Marling. He is an artist and he's willing to help out on the game for free. And he's really, really good at what he does and he's been doing it for a long time, I'm told. Uh, he's kind of off the grid, uh, not a big fan of social media, but that shouldn't be an issue. So he'll be producing some artwork for the game pretty soon. Now let's try to create a story using artificial intelligence. My game is about rodents. The town of rodents is under attack by giant birds. The birds are swooping down and picking up the rodents in their talons. The rodents are trying to fight back, but they are no match for the birds. The birds are carrying the rodents off to their nests, where they will be eaten. The rodents are desperate to escape, but they don't know how. Can you help them? I continued the prompt, but had an idea to make the rodents Christian. The birds are swooping down and picking up the rodents in their talons. The rodents are trying to fight back, but they are no match for the birds. The rodents are praying for help but it doesn't seem to be coming. Then I wanted the villain to be a giant owl. The town of rodents is under attack by a giant owl. Thanks. It forgot that the rodents were supposed to be Christian, so I reminded it, and here's the finished product. The town of rodents is under attack by a giant owl. The owl is swooping down and picking up the rodents in their talons. The rodents are trying to fight back, but they are no match for the owl. The owl is carrying the rodents off to its nest, where they will be eaten. The rodents are desperate to escape, but they don't know how. It is laughing at them as it carries them off to their doom. The rodents are praying for help, but it doesn't seem to be coming. They are wondering if God has abandoned them. Well, it's funny. It's very impressive and it can create something coherent and spark a lot of new ideas. But so far, AI has not been super helpful. Nice gut. Meanwhile, the game continues to make progress. Things are improving. Unfortunately, something horrible has happened. God has stricken me with COVID. Okay, get in. I've been in my room for the past couple of days. <coughs> My symptoms are mild, so I can still work on the game a little bit. And recently, my sister told me about clinical trials. There's people who will pay you to test out drugs while you have COVID. So uh, I signed up for every trial I could find. Hey everyone, they injected me with something today and it felt like my skin was on fire. I want more moves, I want more art, I want a better character. I want him to lean. I want him to fly down slopes. I want more action, more explosions, more screen shake. I can't seem to stop testing the game. It's fun, it's cool, it's hot, but I can't stop testing the game. I'm wasting a lot of time testing and tweaking when I could be programming. And the clinical trials have given me more money, but I can't spend it because the government has hacked into my Unity account and broken the website, and they think someone's outside of my window watching me. Hey everyone, the game is really fun. But I need artwork. 
Oh, Kevin, my new artist isn't a tech guy. He lives off the social media grids, so I need to email him or call him to communicate. This is just what the government wants me to do. The government is using AI to simulate real people. This is just a theory, but it's true. <laughs> if Kevin wants to make art for my game, he needs to prove that he's not a robot being controlled by the government. These insane theories are probably true, and I am not a man. Uh, who backs down from a challenge, but, but I am a man. Hey everyone, I'm too scared to get my license, so my daddy is driving me to Kevin's house. Everywhere I go, I'm reminded that the government is watching. We stopped by the local in and out because my dad wanted to pick up some food for the family. This only fueled my suspicions about the entire car ride. Was my dad an AI robot? I try to think positive. I was so close to my target. Or was I the target all along? Do they already know that I'm hunting them? Jack? I'll put you in a coma. Where was my father actually taking me? Are there actually burgers in this bag or just more AI robots trying to get into my head? This is when I realized I forgot my shoes at home. I finally arrive at Kevin's house. He doesn't answer the door. Something is definitely up with Kevin. I decide to come back at night, this time with shoes. The front door is sealed shut. I'll check out the backyard. I'm in luck. The back door is open. All right, Kevin. What is going on? What is this? What is this? What is this? You trying to get high? Oh, you're working on my game? I don't think so, Kevin. I don't think so. No, no. Nice try. What do you need? Really? Sorry. Sorry. Oops. Okay, I don't want to go down. Hey everyone, the game is now in a playable state. It's ready for feedback, and I mean human feedback. Flesh and blood and bones. Because of the lifelike comments a robot can leave, I won't be able to tell for sure who is human and who is just a computer pretending to be a human. This leaves me no choice but to ask all of you to send me samples of your blood and urine before commenting on this video with feedback. One cup of blood and four kilos of urine sent by mail with your username. After me and the friends that I have run the tests, I will send you an email with your code. At the bottom of your comment, leave your eight digit code to confirm you are not a robot and are a living, breathing human person. Okay? Well, you, you, think this is, you think this is overboard? You think this is crazy? You, you think robots can't get to you? Well, guess what? They're already here. The robots live among us. They're even in our homes. Alexa, uh, add a Blu-ray copy of Garfield, A Tale of Two Kitties to the shopping list, please. I've added Blu-ray copy of Garfield. They cannot be stopped. Sending your blood and urine is one of many only ways we can do this. Or join my Discord. I don't think um I don't I don't think robots can do that yet. And I will I will be posting the demo uh there when it's ready. Thank you.